The Chiefs will open up the 2013 playoffs tonight against the Summerland Steam at the Rutland Arena. We've got Jordan Sallow over here. We drove him, dragged him downtown. Uh, nice rink, though, in the background, isn't it? Yeah, I've never been here before. It's a pretty cool thing that they built here for uh, the community. It's nice. Okay, let's talk about the season. You guys finished first in the Okanagan Conference, 35 wins on the year. What was that like being part of the team where you weren't in fourth like last year? You were in first pretty much the entire way. So how was that uh, different from last year? Well, it was, yeah, it was obviously different from last year because, you know, last year we were always fighting. Um, we were the lower end team and we were always chasing that top end team and um, trying to get as many wins as we could um, before playoffs. But obviously this year it was a little bit different and um, you're on the other side of things. So you have to kind of keep the wins up. You gotta, you're the top dog and everyone's gunning for you. So you got to battle all that adversity and, um, you know, not worry about um, other teams and, you know, everyone else, you kind of just got to keep playing your game and keep doing what you're doing in order to keep that win streak going. Did overconfidence ever kind of rear its ugly head going into the going into the playoffs, especially now you're playing a fourth seeded team in Summerland? But going through the regular season, did overconfidence ever become a factor? Absolutely, it always does. I think it I think it does with every team because you know what, no one can you know unless you're Penticton V's, <laughs> no one can you know go a whole season winning every single game because. You know, everyone's head gets swollen. Um, you win so many games and you get too used to winning mm. and you just kind of slow down and, um, you know, you think everyone else is, you know, too easy to play against. And, you know, that's that's not a good thing to get inside your head. So, um, yeah, for sure, there was definitely times this year where we took teams, you know, more lightly than we should have because we were, you know, on a good win streak and we just thought we could roll over anyone. And, you know, obviously that, um, you know, kind of bit us in the rear because, you know, our heads got too big, right? And that happens all the time, mm. so. But that's good going into the playoffs. It's always nice to lose a couple games, I think, to bring everybody down to earth, yeah. especially when that kind of overconfidence is coming, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like we, you know, our last couple games, I think we had um, in the last 12 or so games, we had like nine or 10 wins, something like that. Not exactly sure. But um, yeah, I definitely would rather have lost a couple games going into playoffs than, than won all of our games because I think it's better to go into playoffs kind of on the lower end of things, um, wanting to gain that jump, wanting to um, be able to... Um, grow a little bit more and you know achieve a little bit more opposed to going into the playoffs completely on top and you know you just your heads are swollen and you think yeah you know what we're on top of the world we're going to beat everyone which is not true because playoffs are a completely different kind of yeah. hockey so before we talk about this series just uh, Summerland you had a great year 83 points you win the KI scoring race was that a goal at the beginning of the year maybe not to win the race but certainly do well and, and lead the team yeah well I mean um, after last year uh, you know my coaches sat down with me and they kind of told me they're like you know what you're going to be um, you know our go-to guy this year so we're you know obviously expecting a lot more out of you this year we're gonna be expecting a lot of points so I kind of set a goal for myself to get just 75 points was my goal and then you know as the season kind of started going on I didn't really know much about the scoring race I didn't really know anything yeah. really what it was or if you won an award or whatever um, and then you know as I was kind of up on top of the league um, everyone's like oh you know you're winning the scoring race and I checked you know <laughs> online and it's like oh cool you know so then yeah so then eventually yes I made it my my goal um, I said you know what I want to win this thing and you know obviously because I want to you know try and get a scholarship um, um, playing hockey and you know this is just another stepping stone in that this just helps out that much more so yes I did make that my goal about a quarter way through the season when I realized it was something that you know was possible for me to achieve and yeah I just did everything in my power to make that my goal and achieve it as well as possible yeah well nicely done now you have Summerlin you got this uh, the steam coming up tonight best of seven series round one of the KHHL playoffs you face them eight times during the regular season you beat them six times so what do you know about their game that will uh, be advantageous for you guys to take advantage of um the thing is with Summerland is they're they like to get in your face they're they're that kind of team that's you know, going to kind of get under your skin and they're going to try and beat you by getting you in the penalty box. They're, um, they're you know, little little chippy, you know, like to grind hard and they, you know, they don't stop battling. So that's it's definitely a thing we got to keep in mind going into playoffs. Um, we know they're like that and we just got to play around it. We've studied their power play a little bit. We know um, what that's about and their penalty kill and whatnot. So we've kind of um, set our systems for against theirs for the first series. So big uh, round or big run in the playoffs last year for the the Chiefs unfortunately losing in the KI final how much did that motivate you guys not going into this season but now going into the playoffs all that experience you have on your team yourself and Kyle Clerk and some of the other guys how big was that playoff run last year now going into this year's run yeah it was huge and you know that like last year it was my second year playing in the league and for the Chiefs but um, 
that was the first time I had ever really gone far in a serious playoff series. Um, so it was, you know, it was definitely something else. And, um, you know, for us to go all the way and, you know, see what it's like to go that far and how much you can accomplish um, to come into this year, it's like, I don't, I don't want to lose. Like, I, I'm not leaving that rank until I win everything. You know, <laughs> it just gives you that feeling, like, especially when I look at our team this year, and I believe we have much more potential than the team we had last year. We had a great team last year, but I think we just have that much more um, skill and potential on our team this year. And, yeah, there's, there's no doubt that um, going that far last year makes you – you know, not want to leave the rink and, unless you win it all. And, and for me, I'm a 19-year-old, so I have another year next year. But for guys like Kyle Clerk and Scott Renner and Braden Hickachy, you know, those guys, they're their last year, right? And those are all my good friends. So, um, you know, it kind of makes me want to play for them even more. I don't, you know, I want to win that championship even more just for them because it's their last, you know, kind of kick at the can. You got your playoff beard going, which is <laughs> nice to see. But well, you guys are doing something with, with your hair, right? Yeah, we, uh, we all, as soon as our last game hit, um, we said no shaving, and then we all kind of over the last week before playoff start, we all dyed our hair black as a team thing, kind of get the boys together, do a team bonding type thing. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Jordan Salahor, he and the Chiefs will face the Summerland Steam in round one of the KIJHL final, which begins tonight, not here, at City Park, or at Stewart Park, but at Rutland Arena. Thanks for watching.